Hi everyone and welcome. Thank you for joining me today on Storytime 365. My name is Barbara and today I have the spring story of the ever so beautiful cherry blossom tree called the falling flowers. Did you know that depending on the species of cherry blossom tree, they usually blossom between late March and early April, but only for a very short time. Today's story has been written by Jennifer B. Reed with illustrations by Dick Cole. Mayumi looked out her bedroom window over the rice field and toward the mountains. She hopped up and down as grandmother tied a ribbon in her hair. Where are we going, she asked. Patience, Mayumi, you'll see soon enough. Hand in hand, they walked on the side of the road. They passed the rice field and their neighbor's home. Mayumi tried to skip and run. Are we going to the zoo? She asked her grandmother. Grandmother shook her head no. They strolled by the bank and the fruit market to the train station. People pushed and shoved and packed onto the train. Mayumi had to stand. She tried to jump above the people to see out the window. They were too tall. She tried to push them to the side. There were too many. Grandmother, are we going to a museum, she asked. Grandmother smiled and quietly said, no. Mayumi hung on to a pole. People swayed back and forth as the train rumbled through the busy towns. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, kabunk, kabunk. It seemed to take forever. Mayumi caught glimpses of tall buildings through the passengers' heads. We're going to the city, said Mayumi, but why? Be patient, Mayumi. We're almost there. The doors on the train slid open. Mayumi caught hold of grandmother's hand and left the train in the river of people. The city was full of people, lights, cars, steamy streets and familiar smells. Honk honk sounded car horns. Beep beep warned mopeds for people to move. Ding ding rang the bells on bicycles. Mayumi looked all around. There is the shrine, Grandmother. Are we going there? No, not to the shrine, said Grandmother. It is more beautiful than a shrine. They kept on walking, Mayumi skipping and hopping to get a better idea of where they were going. Look at those lights, said Mayumi, pointing to the neon street signs, like a rainbow. She jumped up and down. Are we going shopping? Not today, Mayumi, said Grandmother. We are going to see something very special, something that lasts for only a short time each year. Mayumi sulked. We're not going to the zoo or a museum or even shopping. Where could we be going? She stomped her foot on the sidewalk, crossed her arms, and refused to move. Mayumi, we are almost there. Come with me so you can see. Grandmother walked on slowly but steadily. Mayumi followed. They walked through crowds of people who pushed her from side to side. Grandmother turned down a street. It was a quiet street with no cars, no buses, and no bicycles. Now where are we going? Mayumi asked. Grandmother stopped, tilted her head back, closed her eyes, and breathed deeply. Mayumi watched her. What are you doing, Grandmother? Grandmother looked at Mayumi and smiled. We are here. She knelt down beside Mayumi and pointed to a small park nestled between the tall buildings. Mayumi's eyes grew wide. Rows and rows of trees were covered in pink and white blossoms and looked like big puffy clouds. Every time a breeze swept through the trees, the little blossoms fell gently to the ground. They fell like snow and the ground was blanketed with flowers. Children jumped high in the air catching the blossoms. Others played hide and seek behind the trees. Mayumi ran ahead of her grandmother. 
prettier than the shrine and the neon sign, thought Mayumi. More fun than the zoo or museum, she shouted. Mayumi walked with outstretched arms to touch the flowers as they fell. Grandmother walked under a large flowering tree. She rubbed her hands up and down the bark and smiled. Mayumi watched as Grandmother slowly sat down on the ground. Flowers fell on top of her. Mayumi giggled and lay next to her. This is the same tree I visit every year, said Grandmother. My grandmother brought me to the same spot for the first time when I was your age. Mayumi watched the flowers fall and land on her feet. She swept up a handful of flowers, rubbed her nose in the soft petals, and flung the blossoms into the air. The flowers landed on grandmother's white hair. You look like a flower fairy, said Mayumi. Thank you, grandmother, for my surprise. You are welcome. And next year, we will return at the same time and sit under the same tree. Will it still be here next year, asked Mayumi, looking up through the branches of pink and white petals. Yes, grandmother smiled. And can we play in the flowers? Yes, said grandmother. Good. Mayumi watched the flowers fall from the trees. When they arrived home, Mayumi peered out her window that overlooked the rice field and gray mountains. She reached in her pocket and pulled out a handful of cherry blossoms. She lined them up on the windowsill. They were starting to turn brown. I can visit the zoo or go shopping anytime, but I can only visit you once a year, she said, twirling a blossom in her fingers. She lay down on her futon and dreamed about the flawing flowers. Thank you for joining me for today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like your own copy of today's book, please see below in the description for the link. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you receive notifications about new stories. I do hope to see you all again very soon for some more fun books. Until that time, bye!